Hi everybody, welcome back to Endure Channel International. Wow, it has been a while. Um, my last video was nine months ago, but today I want to start a new series dedicated to Hearts of Iron 4, Arms Against Tyranny. Or I would say Arms for Tyranny, uh, because I am going to play uh, Italy. Uh, I'm going to start a new game and we are going to play with our friend Benito. Um, we are going to play a regular Iron Man mode with historical uh, artificial intelligence focuses. And what I am about to do, um, okay, let me explain it directly in game. Italy starts uh, relatively well positioned, I would say. Uh, it's a medium power. It's not that strong as Germany or United Kingdom or the Soviet Union. But uh, it starts in war against Ethiopia, which could be a double, so could be a, a benefit but also an issue depending on the uh, perspective and it has a uh, pretty good expansion um, possibilities uh, we have a lot of room of maneuver on the Balkans in Romania uh, we can easily grab some resources which we are desperately lacking at the beginning of the uh, of the game so this gameplay is going to be a classical Italian um, I would say vanilla expansion uh, gameplay. I'm not gonna edit that much. I'm, I'm not going to uh, cut or create any sort of uh, funny uh, editing. I'm just gonna play all the campaign from the beginning to the end. Most of the time with speed four. Uh, sometimes probably we also speed up to five because uh, sometimes that's necessary. But uh, the fact is that I just want to have fun. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Let's get started. What we have to uh, to do right now, I will try to be not that slow, but not that fast either. We open with a classical industrial electronic engineering uh, opening. We don't need anything else. Uh, I will also get the synthetic oil experiments uh, right away. We want to develop a lot of trucks and uh, mobile infantry. And then we start uh, creating uh, a couple of infrastructures. Um, I would start with Veneto, due to the resources. Then I'm going to assign the military factories, I would say eight to our firearms. We're going to go to three to the support equipment. Those light tanks currently, they, I'm sorry, they're absolutely useless right now. I'm going to add on the other side a civilian train, which is going to help our no, not you, my friend. It's going to help our logistics pretty fine. Uh, the, the trucks are also okay. Uh, what is missing now is the artillery, which we're going to assign to the Breda. I'm playing with all the new um, features of Arms Against Tyranny, so we have also our industry. I'm going to give four industries to uh, the regular artillery, but I'm also going to get some anti-air, which Breda will manufacture always. That should be enough. Of course, I'm not having enough uh, factories, but I'm going to delete right now those airplanes. That's it. So we are using a lot of resources uh, because we are building a fleet, which is going to be ready in 1941. I mean, guys, I'm going to delete some of those um, ships, and then I'm going to assign, when those guys are done, the convoys. That's it. All right. The next is a national focus. I put open with the Ethiopian War Logistics, which is giving us some infrastructure. That's not bad, but I, I prefer to open with highways. We're going to increase our infrastructure. So our industry will definitely benefit uh, this. Okay. So now we create an army in Libya. We are assigning this part of the army. Isn't it B? No, it's that. I'm sorry. Uh, this part of the army on this side, this part on the other one. And then we take the most important part. So, the north of Ethiopia and the south of Ethiopia. We're going to have uh, uh, one field marshal. Field marshal at the moment is, unfortunately, we have only one choice, which is Rodolfo Graziani. Uh, he's, he's not the best in the world, but that's what we have right now. So, let's give him also a charismatic trait when that... When it's ready and that's very important we're going to assign giovanni messi to the north uh, there are alternative paths as you know to lose the war in ethiopia but i want to win it and honestly speaking i would like to win it pretty fast 
if I manage. The second person that is going to lead the attack from the south should be, I would say, an infantry officer. Even if this guy is pretty bad, Bastico, he is a career officer and an infantry officer, so I definitely need him to um, do some experience. We are going to plan because uh, that's going to be very important. So we created that. We have to get uh, to Addis Abeba ASAP. And in order to do so, we are also going to take our air forces, move them here, and then assign them to mess. What we are going to do then, their superiority into the support. Fleet? Well, we don't care about the fleet for the time being. So I'm picking all my uh, warships and so on. I put them all together, I put them in Puglia. I assign Inigo Campioni as an admiral. That's it. There is one thing, one thing that is missing. Those four um, mountaineers division, Alpini, they will also fight in Ethiopia. They will, make, they will make our life much easier, I promise you. Cavalieri is not bad, but uh, he doesn't get a lot of experience. The planning is bad. Uh, let me check if I can find someone. Wow. It's good with uh, uh, on rivers and also on forts. I'm going to be fast here. Let me check. Yep, I found him. Carlo Vecchiarelli is a mountaineer, so he is going to give us 10% attack and defense on these units. Uh, what they are going to do, they will push and they will push uh, in this position for the time being. Uh, I'm going to assign them to Aoussa because when Aoussa will capitulate, they will enter and they will start pushing. Uh, Addis Abeba from this direction. Okay, let's go. Uh, regarding the other units, uh, currently I really don't have a preference. Robotti and uh, actually uh, I think Zingales are pretty good. Zingales is good also for the motorized and mechanized. Uh, I have only three units here. Uh, Telera is amazing as a panzer leader. Let's give Zingales to this army. And here uh, we're gonna give uh, Lera, even if then I, I'm going to change them later on. We have some decision available. We have insufficient resources, but we are not going to import anything right now because I want to uh, increase my infrastructure. I think we are done. We don't have enough manpower for the garrison. Oh, that's an important topic. Let's check on the occupied territory. We have the cavalry, which is wonderful. We don't need anything else. We're going to move to war economy and then maybe uh, start... Um, putting the chief of the army and then the political advisor. But now let's move on. Let's uh, unpose the game. Finally, welcome to the Insider International. Please, if you like the idea, uh, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. That would be really great to support my my activity. I just hope that you will have fun with me, together with me during this gameplay. Um, okay, now let's wait until we don't have uh, the maximum amount of uh, planning bonus and also because we have all uh we have to wait for the air force in Eritrea actually I also brought probably some let me check if I can move I I, be, I believe I can move those 48 or like those 72 tactical bombers uh they're, they're going to the south and yeah they're gonna support this guy here um otherwise Otherwise, I'm overloading the airport of China. And the Christmas offensive. Okay, so uh, the Duce wants result now. You see this, this Joe is very angry. Uh, by any means necessary would allow us to increase the escalation on one end, but also get an attack bonus against the country of Ethiopia. And Ethiopia gets uh, um, air support plus 78%. So, okay. Also in this case, I, I need to be careful because if I finish, if I finish the war before the level three, I think I will have much less issues in the future. Um, honestly, I think to be methodical and deliberate is the best option. I, th I think I can close the war very quickly uh, using this. All right, so as soon as my guys that we need the mountaineers are in position. I will. Ah, okay, I, I think I can't use. Uh, well, uh, I will start the offensive. 
they also have to plan, of course, and they have to acclimatize. Africa is definitely not like uh, Piedmont or <laughs> Valedosta. Okay, and when we are good, can it attack him? Yes, of course it can. Let's move that directly to um, Addis Abeba and Hara. Actually, this is the line that I have to do. Perfect. Let's do that. So as you can see now, we're pushing pretty well from different directions. We take now the four Mountaineers, we stop them. We pin with the other units, the other mountains. We keep pushing. Italian Highways, okay, we have it. Now we are going to... Um, I want to get the uh, National Universities as soon as possible. And also civilian factors are great. The steel industry in turn on the other end is going to give us eight pieces of steel, which we don't yeah, we desperately need at the moment, uh, if we want to increase uh, the production, for example, of tanks or motorized. So yes, I, I need I need the steel. Not now, but perspective is pretty clear. Why do I have... Oh, I think I forgot this guy here, but that's not that's not bad, okay. Let's use this, this guy. This Montagnier can keep pushing. Okay, you see that now the Ethiopians are using all their, their forces here to, to hold the line. Uh, that's a mountain. By the way, we have a mo one Mountaineer. Now three, actually. So... But I have this guy here. I, I he's important because I need to try as much as possible to get to Hara. Let's see. I am not pushing to the south. Um, did I forget? No, not really. But uh, now I will start. Just trying to uh, keep them busy. And we are missing fuel. Okay, we can now send an ultimatum. Ultimatum, uh, I would say in Italian. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Alright, and now they are submitted. Perfect, so that's what we're gonna do. We extend this, we cancel the order, and we give here the order. The Mountaineers. Now, we start giving a little bit more resources and logistics. We have the trucks, so we can do that. Actually, we can do it also in the south, alright? Because it's not going to be so simple to... to push. And now I also give the automatic order. We get the success in North Ethiopia. So the escalation will happen in 53 days. Alright, and now we can take Harar with the Mountaineers. While we keep, uh, we pin the other guys. Alright, here the cavalry uh, did a very good job, so I'm going to try to get the easier targets. All right, all right, okay. Because we, I think we broke the line in the north uh, on this side. And I think that the, ah, yeah, here, the biggest part of the Ethiopian army is still, it's blocking the, on those mountains, which is the right, it's not a big deal. Our felt, and now I could already play a little bit with the industry because here, look at this, they have a logistic um, center. So, if I'm going to, uh, if I build some, if we're going to build some, uh, um, no, yes, <laughs> uh, train, trains, uh, lines. How how do you call them in English? Uh, railways. Thank you. Uh, that's. Our logistic will definitely, our logistics will be brilliant. So, okay, 
Well, 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 it seems that uh, we have now the chance to, to push even forward. Perfect. And create uh, some encirclements. Let me check. So we are... Yeah, we're not doing bad, but uh, we have 35 days before the escalation kicks in. Not sure if I will manage, but we do our best. We are pinning those guys here. We're just keeping them. So we try to avoid um, counteroffensive. That's it. By the way, look at this. Some borders are open. And Alice Abeba now is falling. How many days still? Okay, see, 23 days. Okay, we have the electronics, we go directly to the mechanical computing. Okay, we don't wait. How's it going with the uh, railways? Oh, now I learned a new word. Uh, yeah, almost done. We just need a couple of, of weeks of work and then you're done. Okay, what a, what a juicy encirclement is happening here. Been on. All right, we have the steel. Let's get to the railway innovation immediately. Okay, we have the capital. We have Addis Abeba, guys. And so the escalation is in 16 days. Come on. Come on, let's, let's do it. Let's close it. Let's close this. Let's close this. How? What's the best? What's the best pros? I have no clue. But, but we should not. Uh, win. We should win now. Okay. Okay, this is a full capitulation, so I'm going to select all and, uh, and, and submit the demands. For, uh, let's see, confirm an exit. Or did I forget anything? Why, why do you say so? Ethiopia. Ethiopia doesn't take anything. Perfect. Uh, guys. So. Uh, solid progress in Ethiopia. So by doing that, now um, we are out of the war. The United Kingdom does not have the event of the government in, in exile. So on the 22nd of April, we close the war, which is brilliant. Um, we have to think about uh, keeping a colonial force here in Africa to so be, be ready to attack the Brits, but not right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the colonial units uh, and leave them in Africa. Same for the irregulari, the irregulars, uh, I, I don't care. Same for the spies. So I am going to take Messi now. Um, by the way, he had uh, another Alpino. And those five Alpini now, they're going here with the border on the border with France. Messi, for the time being, uh, where, where should he go? I mean, for the time being, they keep the guy here in Roma. Doesn't have to do much more, it, it, it's fine. And that's it. Now let's assign the best logistics to all the army. No, no, I cannot do it. Let's assign the, the, the standard logistics. Let me check. 360 trucks. It's gonna work. Now we have the mission of pacifying Ethiopia. So we also give the mission to our army to start training. It's very important. We now take our Air Forces, we move them to Roma. All of them. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Cancel the... Cancel the mission. And I think we can get the Chief of Army. Ah, wait a minute. Let me go to War Economy first. I was all, almost... Almost forget. Okay, so the railways in Ethiopia is done. In Veneto, the... Infrastructure is almost done. We start building Lazio, one civil factory. 
and then in Veneto. So where I have a 100%, they need to industrialize. So this mission tells me that I need to um, increase the compliance till 60%, which is huge, which is huge. And they have to invest a ton of um, resources to do that. I'm not sure if I want to do it. I have to think. I have to think about that. Because I could go ready for a lot of uh, industrialization path and military power path. So, yeah, I I'm not really sure. What I can do now, I can give the first spirit, which is political loyalty, which is boosting my uh, stability from 85% to 97%, which is a, as an effect, a massive effect also. Um, on the industry, and we start the industrialization of Venezia. Okay. Yeah, we need some infantry equipment, some trucks, some support equipment, but but we are going, we are getting there. We're definitely getting there. I don't have yet enough uh, art artillery to change the templates, but I'm going to do that soon. And then I need those to change the templates because my infantry my Montaniers, the Camicianera, that are actually very cheap, but um, we can use them. Yeah, yeah, we can use them, absolutely. Okay. As a Chief of Army, I'm going to get uh, Badoglio as soon as I have 100 political points, and then my army experience will start going up. Concentrated industry, very important. Why? Because Italy, Italy is not that large. We need to play tall, right? So we need to then. And soon our infantry equipment will pile up. Maybe when I have an extra couple of military factories, I would invest more in, uh, in trucks. Even if I don't have the uh, rubber. But we'll figure it out. Okay, the next period is going to be uh, when we have how much? 35, okay. But uh, having a, having such an army uh, which is training uh, it's going to really push our experience up so soon we are going to have another spirit. I really want to invest um, in the Alpini. I want to have a, a, a powerful a mountaineer um, unit Tradition, I would say, better. Also because I can then unlock the Mountaineer Special Forces. So we have the Railways Innovation. Now we go to the investment in Edison. It's going to give us a plus two civilian factories and a discount of 5% on the civilians uh, again. So professional, it's giving me more experience, more command power and a discount in the doctrine cost. So why not? Okay, the next one is going to be an, um, an advisor. And I think I'm going to work on the civil, on the factories. So then here we have to recheck where I have more resources. Okay, steel and aluminium. I really don't need that. Steel. Uh, I, I guess that campaign is the way because I'm going to increase more my resources. And now, okay, we, we've been quick. I am very happy about that. After the investment of Edis, uh, in Edison, we are going to expand our universities and then we move uh, immediately to the Servizio Informazioni Militare. Okay, now excavation. There is the, the war in Spain. We are going to send the volunteers. And which one? Oh, okay. Just a second, please. <laughs> because Picciarelli can store, but we can send only uh, three divisions. That's going to be enough. And the yeah, other volunteers. Which Air Force? Let me take someone. This this one. Are those fighters? Yes. Um, we have to wait. Okay, they accepted. There is an air base in Galicia. Is perfect for our goal. And as soon as Vecchiarelli will be in Spain, we will move him close to Madrid. There are some mountains. 
We will assign the fighters to support them and we will tell them to push to the capital. We try to close this civil war as soon as possible. Or maybe I could also play uh, a little bit in the north, in Bilbao. Or create a huge encirclement here. Let's wait and see. Our division now are moving, right? Yes, they're there. So, we go here. No, 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 no. That's very wrong, Andrew. Oh, that looks much better, Andrew. Perfect. Air superiority thing. Good. We don't have absolutely fuel, otherwise I would ask my navy to start uh, um, forming some trainings, but unfortunately I'm very poor. I can't do that. Can I give you a political advisor now? No, they don't have any cheap one. Okay, so one Montaigneur is already in position. I don't know, the others are quite slow. Uh, let's assign the trucks immediately for the logistics. We need always more trucks, that's why we have to produce a lot of them. I could also give a promotion, but I don't want right now. Ooh, free dockyards. Spectacular. Set to close as much as fast as possible this, uh, this fleet. Okay. Now with the construction, Veneto is going to have another civilian and then we are going to Campania, but I don't want to start uh, fixing Ethiopia. Actually, I'm going to build another civilian in Tuscany. Okay. Finally, Edison Universities. Okay, my three boys are here. Let's tell them to get ready for an offensive towards Madrid. The fun fact is that uh, the Spaniards, the Republicans, are attacking us, so they're losing all their all their organization and exposing themselves to a deadly counteroffensive. So it's gonna be fun. Uh, actually, not really. That was not the right direction. But fine. All right. Okay. 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 Then. Combat with is so bad that <laughs> I need to use another way. Yes, I try to push to Madrid in this direction. Start with the scientific. That's not bad. Let's put together this, please. Alright, I can also train the Stormy their forces to get some experience, why not? And now we go to the political advisor and we get uh, the captain of industry. Railway, refinery, civilian factory and infrastructure. It's gonna give us a little boost and I, I don't I don't dislike that. Okay, our boys here are doing a very good experience and also, okay, we have already lost 11 aircrafts. That's bad, but that's what we have to do. And if we look at our uh, stockpile, now we see we have 4,400k in infantry equipment, which just means the trucks, and of course the airplanes. Which is not bad at all. All right, I think we stop here. So this episode, I, I'm pretty satisfied by the, so how, how, about how things are going for the time being. I'm going full industrial uh, industrial here. I'm pretty satisfied that we didn't open the extra front in Africa that we killed immediately Ethiopia. Uh, now we will help uh, Spain, but then. I, the nationalists are already doing very well because you see that Bilbao is already has already fallen. Uh, we have to industrialize and then I have a plan. I know how I want to continue. Let's build also the first military factory in Florence and then uh, another sieve in Naples. Then we will see. Guys, I really thank you 
if you watched the whole video till now so thank you very much if you want you can write down below from which country you're watching this series i already bet that more than 80 percent of the audience will come from italy because i'm italian and i have an italian standard so where i have 62 000 people following me way bigger than this one but uh, if you're not coming from italy write it down below i'm also interested to meet you and thank you have a great day we we'll see each other next time and you're out.